The girl was tortured by her mother and covered in blood. Because her dance moves were not standard, she tried to standardize the movements, but the mother was still not satisfied. She directly pulled her hands away and forced her to lower her body. The girl's body was no longer conscious. The mother stepped on her back with her foot. No matter how much pain the girl had, the mother did not let go of her foot until the girl's spine was broken and she fell to the ground motionless. Only then did the mother call out to the little girl next to her. Lucy watched the whole process. She was so frightened that she stayed where she was and didn't dare to run. But the mother didn't kill her. Instead, she's let her live until now. Now Lucy is a nurse practitioner, bringing a new person to work. The new person is Essel, who was born with different pupils. Although the first patient she took on was difficult, she still managed to handle it easily. Lucy was very pleased with her performance. She took her to see several patients, but the last one didn't let her in. She took her things and left without making up a reason. Essel couldn't wait any longer for someone to come out. She ran in to look for someone. The villa in front of him looked very old. The main door was tangled with vines. The interior of the house was also in a state of disrepair. If it wasn't for the new look on the outside, this really does not look like a place where people live. She pushed open the door. What she saw was a very sick old woman. Lucy didn't get angry when she saw her coming, but praised her for doing the right thing. Lucy took the opportunity to introduce the old man in the bed to her. The old woman is a very strict dance instructor. Many students from abroad came to study here, but that was a long time ago. The old woman is still in a coma. Essel noticed that the old woman's IV was covered in blood. The nails were horrible, like they hadn't been cut in 800 years. Essel tried to cut them for her, but Lucy found a reason to put it off. She wondered why the old woman didn't go to the hospital. Lucy said the old man had no family. His only daughter was born mute and died a long time ago. Her only wish was to die at home. Essel has nothing to say. A Lucy suddenly told Essel the old woman had a treasure. Only the keys in the room were all wrong. Essel noticed that the old man had a strange key around his neck, but she didn't say anything. Lucy packed her things and sent Essel home from work. Lucy stared at her for a long time as she drove to the next place. The girl in front of her thought she was in the way, turned to look inside the car and ended up being kidnapped and killed by Lucy straight home. The pool of blood was full of blood. There were blood bags hanging on the wall. That is the blood just drawn from the girl's body. And Essel didn't know any of this. She was drinking with her boyfriend at the bar. And she was telling him about the day. But he was focused on the treasure. He was unhappy with his life and wanted to steal the treasure. Essel is stunned by this statement. An old woman in a coma and ready to die. And her boyfriend wants to rob her. To convince his girlfriend, he started to use hard tactics. Even involving his friends. Essel didn't want to answer. Took the stuff and left. The boyfriend was not satisfied. He went after Essel and verbally poked her in the gut. He said that his family had financial problems after his mother's death. Why not take this opportunity to make things better? She directly said that her boyfriend had been in jail. Boyfriend felt humiliated. He left in a huff. Essel came home and heard her father on the phone with her lover. She had a lot of mixed feelings. Mom had only been dead for eight months. Dad had found a new lover. He also said that the woman wanted to live in the house. Essel thought it was unbelievable. After dad left, she had a vision of her mother before she died. After thinking about it, she decided to agree to her boyfriend's request. This girl was made into a spinning octet by her mother. Whenever the music started, she would spin with it. The music was too loud. The man was afraid of disturbing the owner of the house and broke the doll's bones with his fist. The music box was damaged and the house made a strange creaking sound. Several people looked around in fear, fearing that the house was haunted. The man had come here to steal the treasure. Even though the owner was a comatose old lady, they didn't dare to scare the snake to come in through the window. The environment inside the house was very eerie. Essel had a bad feeling. She wanted to leave but her boyfriend said, Don't you want the treasure? Several people searched around. One was not prepared to see the animal specimens inside the house. They were so scared that their hearts trembled violently because the specimens are so realistic. Changing houses to search they saw a realistic version of the animal's tea party. The men wanted to take a closer look. As a result, the friend in front of them suddenly turned around and gave them a direct shock. This place should not stay long, but there was only one door left to open. They had the courage to open it, but it was locked. Essel thought of the key on the old lady's chest. She immediately took the two of them to steal it. The old lady was unconscious, so it was easy for them to get it. But the key was wrong. The door still wouldn't open. 
The friends opened the door by force, but there was no treasure inside, only a person with a veil. The man lifted the veil and found a corpse. Essel guessed it was the old lady's daughter. She inserted the key into the hole below and the music started to play. The corpse in front of him started to spin. The man kicked it right over. The three men prepared to leave this unsettling place. When they returned the way they came, they found the window they had infiltrated was locked. Essel remembered that there was still an unlocked window in the old lady's room. So she took them there, but the old lady was gone and the window was locked. The friend was attracted by the mirror next to her. He reached out his hand, and suddenly the old lady's figure appeared in the mirror. Then she disappeared. When he opened his eyes again, he appeared in an unknown room. There was no way to escape from here without a door. When he looked around, he saw the specimen of a child in a glass jar. Then some girls with veils suddenly appeared. The man's throat was slit and then beaten to death with a stick. On the other hand, Essel and her boyfriend couldn't find their friends. So they continued to look for an exit. The boyfriend insisted on breaking the window. While Essel went to other rooms, he accidentally touched something. The animals next to him all turned to him. Then the old lady appeared. She held out her hands to Essel. Essel was born with different pupils. As soon as she touched the old woman's hands, she saw her past. It turned out that the old woman and her daughter were vampires. The mother cut her daughter's back open and put gears in it, and sewed her eyes on to make a doll, so that the girl will always be by her side. After reading this, the old lady disappeared. At that moment, there was a cry for help from her boyfriend outside the door. But the door was locked, so she couldn't get out. The long-lost friend outside the door suddenly appeared. He was covered in blood and tried to kill his boyfriend. Fortunately, the boyfriend grabbed the scissors behind him and took the advantage. In order to survive, the boyfriend killed his friend. But his grief has not yet passed. A vampire appeared behind him. The old lady bit him on the head when he wasn't looking. Blood gushed out and he fell to the ground. The old woman fell on top of the man and drank his blood. Essel saw the old lady's daughter again. This time there was no key and the doll started dancing. She walked off the music box, danced around Essel and grabbed her by the neck when she was unprepared. Essel knocked her out with a punch and stood up. Lucy appeared at that moment. Without saying a word, she punched Essel. Essel opened her eyes again and was lying on a pedestal. The old lady was ready to give her daughter a new soul. She pushed her daughter out. Then she cut Essel's stomach and inserted a chrysalis. Then she also put one inside her daughter's body. She pinned Essel's eyes shut, leaving one eye open. But Essel suddenly saw her mother. After a moment of pain, the moth flew out of Essel's mouth, and one flew out of her daughter's mouth. The two moths exchanged and flew into each other's bodies. In this way, the two souls were successfully swapped. Essel woke up. Her pupils were gone, but the body is still her own soul. Because the pupil has two souls, one is her own and the other is her mother's. The old lady didn't know and ordered her to dance. Lucy saw her disobedience and came up to teach her a lesson. The result is that Essel killed her back. After finishing one, the next one is the old lady. When she lost her voice, Essel went to find the girl. She used her own blood to save the girl. They were going to leave this place. But the old lady wasn't dead at all. She suddenly grabbed Essel. Essel could not break free. The girl rushed to find scissors. Without hesitation, she plunged into the old lady's body. The old lady fell downstairs and died completely. Walking out of the villa, they found the villa was surrounded by a darkness. There was no way to get out at night, so the two rested here for the night. They left early the next morning. The girl standing on the high ground didn't hesitate to jump. Her mission was complete, and it was time to leave this place. The expected blood did not appear. She flew to the sky. As a mother, Ta protected her daughter at the critical moment. It is the completion of the wish.